New tonight, a family's beloved dog stolen, then returned. Police say a burglar snatched Max from a southeast Houston home, but officers eventually tracked down the dog and the suspect. Our Sophia Beausoleil spoke with Max's rightful owner and joins us live now. Sophia. Well, we are happy to report that Max is safe and sound, and tonight his family is just enjoying every single moment with him. And he's just a lovable dog, very friendly. Max is an English bulldog and is just a year old. He's a spoiled dog because he's he's inside. He's not an outside dog. He you know he ha he only drinks bottled water. So we we were just making wanted him to be safe. You know. Demaris Ramirez says her husband came home on December 30 to find their pup missing. And I was like, well, what do you mean he's not there? And he was like, well, he's not here. His kennel's gone. The dog food is gone. The Ramirez family says the suspect broke in through their bathroom window and only stole the dog. The family of five just moved into their new home and still have workers remodeling their house. That's when it dawned on them it was possibly an inside job. My husband had suspicions um, because that guy um, was taking pictures of Max, asking him questions like, you know, what's the, how much is this dog worth? What kind of food does he eat? Does he have his shots? The family contacted police and explained they believe it was possibly a relative of someone who was working on their bathroom. Police say they arrested 33-year-old Fernando Godoy. Investigators say initially he denied taking the dog, but then told police he gave the dog away. Officers found Max and reunited him with the Ramirez family yesterday. Relieved. I feel so much better because I know that, you know, he's safe. He's with us. And the family says they can't thank police enough. They did their job 100%. They were on it and they got him back very quickly. <laughs> And police made that arrest, and that suspect has been charged with burglary of a habitation. You can read more about the story on 50houston.com. Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.